construction continues apace on a major new silicon fab in Japan co-owned by TSMC and Sony. The new fab, known as JASM, is in the small town of Kikuyu in the Kumamoto Prefecture. TSMC has invested more than 270 billion NT in the project, hoping it will be the next major global center of semiconductor manufacturing. While some office at the site went into use last month, there is still much work to be done on the factories. Meanwhile, local officials have their own priorities, sorting out the local road network to ease horrendous congestion caused by the project. FTV reporter Tang Shijing visited Kumamoto Prefecture to find out more. Trucks raise a cloud of dust as the new fab gradually takes shape. The 23-hectare fab site and its land extends as far as the eye can see. This is the JASM Semiconductor Fab, jointly owned by TSMC and Sony. You can see how work is proceeding apace right now. They're trying to finish construction in September so they can start production next April and ship out the first products by the end of 2024. Just 10 minutes drive away is the Sony Kumamoto Technology Center. The two mega corporations have acquired 145 plots of land with the aim of building a new fab in Kumamoto Prefecture, one as big as five Tokyo domes. The result would be a veritable kingdom of semiconductors. But it won't be an easy task to sell 12, 16, 22, and 28 nanometer chips to the car market or to achieve monthly production of 55,000 chips. All around JSM, small roads cut a sharp contrast to the giant facility. The roads are clogged up with aggregate trucks. For this small farming town of just 43,000 residents, solving the traffic problem is an urgent priority. This narrow road, Highway Number 30, is the only way to get to the JASM fab. The route should take about 40 minutes. But at rush hour, when small vans stream out of local farms and trucks ferry to and fro the construction sites, the same route can take 90 minutes or more. Now the Japanese government has confirmed a budget of around 6.6 .6 billion NT to rebuild these roads. <laughs> The national government has provided about 114 billion yen as a subsidy, of which about 30 billion yen will be used to reorganize roads. When Kikuyo receives this subsidy, there should be a marked acceleration of the road rebuilding project. Japanese officials have invested a 24.7 billion NT budget in the scheme. Forecasts suggest that JASM will create an economic boom worth 7 trillion yen, around 1.5 trillion NT.